Hello, beautiful people. Honest Am here, the writer and creator of the Honest Thesis newsletter. And I am here for another daily motivational video where we use the tarot to become the alchemist of our lives. A little bit about me. I do not just use tarot. I use God and Cusses in the same sentence and I may mispronounce some things. <sighs> Y'all, I'm sleepy. This is the last one. I've had a very full day. <laughs> I did some writing today and I did some actual work today and some channeling. So this is a full, full day. So, all right, God, what messages do you have for us to become the alchemists of our lives, to help bring heaven on earth or just to do magic in public? All right. God, what messages do you deem for before us to hear at this time? Deliver these messages to me and through me. Make it as plain as possible. All right. So the card that came out, I'm doing something different. Ooh. I like it. I like it. Hmm. I did something different. So, angel number 110, make sure you check out the description box below. There are always additional messages as well as information about me and honestlysis.com. So, the message that came out is purpose. And on this, we have literally an angel climbing up a mountain. Um, and I feel like God is asking you that what I hear right away is, are you walking in your purpose? Are you doing what you need to do in order to get yourself closer to your dreams? The other message that came out is connect to the blue flame, which is the light of pure love within you. And so when I hear that purpose with the blue flame with wisdom, it's also a card that came out, see your adversity as opportunities to expand your spiritual light. Um, I feel like what God is trying to ask you is that, um, are you doing everything you need to do to bring yourself in alignment with your purpose? And if not, what is keeping you from doing it? For some reason, I feel like fear is holding you back. And I feel like what God is saying, don't allow fear to hold you back. Really connect to love. Really allow yourself to experience this uh the blessing that he is trying to bring to you what i realized is that the mind is nothing but a child <laughs> angel number 218 um it's really nothing but a storage container you can honestly look at your mind like google um when you are doing something new your mind has no information to go from it like it has no information to pull from and so just like if it was back in those cave days, it brings out danger, danger because it don't have any information to go on. Um, and so what God is saying, your job is to just override that fear and to just feel the fear and do it anyway. Like nobody's saying that, you know, you're not supposed to be scared. Everybody feels fear like it's natural. But what you have to do is feel the fear and do it anyway. So. God, what is our energy towards walking in our purpose and making decisions from a place of love? How can we become um, more in alignment with our life purpose and the blue flame of love? Make it as plain as possible. In my name I pray. I should. I'm going to try and make this video quick, y'all. I'm tired. I got to stop trying to push myself. <laughs> I be pushing myself too, too hard. Agent number 333. Um, so the two messages that came out, um, the two cards that came out, three actually, which are very amazing cards, is the Empress. And the Empress came out. And the Empress actually, all of these cards kind of came out reversed, but I don't know if the deck was reversed or if whatever. But the Empress, the Empress upright speaks about um, bringing life into the world. And, you know, us as gods, like we, you know, we are gods, right? So it is our job to actually create. And honestly, what I realized is that that is how God expresses himself. Like the God can't, you know, like God is in everything. And so if God is in everything, which if God is in everything, the only way that he can express himself, like he can't just pop up in his pen or just pop up right here in his video, like, what up, I'm God. Because we'd be like, oh my God, who the fuck is that? You know, like we we wouldn't, we 
if, if God popped up in front of you, you probably be like, this ain't God. <laughs> like you just wouldn't believe it. And so in order for God to, ex- to express himself or for him to show up in the world is he show up through you. Like he has to channel his divine guidance through you. And by you trusting God or walking out your purpose, you are not only doing stuff to make you feel good and bring yourself in alignment, but you're also allowing God to show up in the world. And so how selfish of you is it for you not to not think about it that way how selfish of you is it for how selfish of you is it to not walk in your purpose because now you're not allowing God to show up in the world it's like you holding God back think about it like that you not going in your purpose is holding God back from showing up into the world and so this message is God is telling you that it's your birthright to birth things into the world it's your birthright to be happy it's your birthright to feel good and to be creative and to have freedom and, you know, to, it's your birthright. It's it's literally your birthright to birth beauty and abundance into the world. But you just have to remember that. You have to remember that you came down here with a purpose. You have to remember that your purpose was not to be at this dead end job that doesn't make you feel good, that make you feel less than yourself and make you feel like you're betraying yourself every day. That's not what God, when God birthed you, when he put breath into your lungs and put you in your mom's womb, he didn't put you down here for to be on social media. Like think about what you really are meant to do. And the only way for you to know if you're really in alignment with that is making sure that you're connecting to yourself, your soul, your love, and doing what you love. That's the easiest way to know what you want to do. What do you love to do? I heard somebody say, I like to do social media. No, you don't. (laughs) Like You just like to do social media. But what do you love about? And even if you do love social media, what do you love about it? Is it like you're looking at trends on social media? Is it that you like doing different designs? Are you like, you know, putting different looks together? Because you know what? That could be an indicator that, you know, maybe you should be a costume designer or maybe you should be a photographer. Like, it's not saying that you need to be a, an influencer. Think about the big picture, okay? For the blue flame, connecting to the blue flame, which is the light of pure love within you, is the six of swords. And so what God is saying, turn away from anything, anyone, any person, any idea, any television show that makes you feel less than yourself. Like I honestly had to stop looking, angel number 713, and stop following some of my favorite people because they no longer felt like they were in alignment with who I was trying to become. I literally used to listen to AP. I talked about her on this channel all the time. Every single day I used to listen to her daily motivational videos and her channel took a turn and I could no longer align because it didn't feel in alignment with me. Same thing with anything else. And that's not saying like, I I wish the best for AP. I I, I honestly just feels like God is telling me to just focus on myself. So I'm not saying this to say any shade towards her, But it's like, if it's not in alignment with you, it has to go. And that goes to your parents, that goes to your boyfriend, it goes to your damn dog. If your dog ain't in alignment, if your dog don't make you feel good, then it has to go. And the reason why God is saying it's important for you to know that it's your your birthright to be creative as you move closer to your creativity, you move closer to your divinity as you become a creator and know it's your birthright to bring these creations to life, knowing that these these divine inspirations and these ideas are being birthed to you because that's how God wants to show up in the world. Once you realize that, once you turn away from all the things that are no longer serving for you, that doesn't make you feel good, that make you feel like you're betraying yourself, then that's when you can get the blessing that you want. Then you can start yourself on a a solid foundation. Then you can have happiness and you'll be in total abundance because you'll be moving in your power. Angel number 847. Um, Okay. God, give us a tool to help us uh, turn away from the things that are no longer serving to us. God, give us a tool to help us connect to the blue flame of light. How can we start to walk in our purpose and know that it is our birthright to be a creator? How can we turn away from the things that are no longer serving us so that we can get to the blessing that is ultimately meant for us? Make it as plain as possible. Any confusion or any doubt, please clear it up in my viewer's mind. God, name I pray. All right. (laughs) 
I can earn a living. I can earn money doing what I love to do. As you practice, as you practice your more positive, better feeling story in time, your pleasure will become your dominant vibration within you. And then as you couple your pleasure with your means of earning and the two blend together perfectly and enhance each other, there's no better way to earn money than to do the things you love. Money can flow into your experience through endless avenues. It is not the choice of craft that limits the money that flows, but you're only your attitude towards your money. I know you guys, look, and I can set your own financial self well-being. God is on somebody's head saying that you can have it. You can have that money. You can become a billionaire. You can do all those things. But first, you just have to trust him. And um, I know like we, <laughs> it's like a joke that talks about like the TV hunters and all that stuff. And they, you know, be like, we got a budget of $80 million and she's like a dog walker and he's a paint dryer. And that's just because white people, honestly, <laughs> they, they feel worthy. Like they never had to worry about it. Like they never had to have this, I had to do things to survive. And so they can feel like they want to be an artist. They can feel like they want, you know, and maybe not even white people, but people of privilege, People who come from money, they don't have to worry about money. So they don't have any limits on what they can do. But people who don't come from money feel like, well, I got to make money. I got to make something of myself. And so then we feel like we have to do certain things in order to get money. And, and God is saying, engine number 1104, that is not necessary. All you need to do is make up your mind. Will Smith have a saying, make a choice. Once you make up your mind on how you want to show up in the world, how you want to birth your reality or you want your life to go, how you want to earn money. Let go of, turn away from everything that makes you feel like that's not possible and God will bring it about. All right, God, final message. God, clarify this message of purpose, okay? <clears throat> we about to go on these cards. And he was like, no, 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 no. It's going to be 1140, okay? See that? I just move. I don't question. I move. That's how we all need to be like, oh, oh my bad, God. All right, God, clarify this message of purpose and blue flame. Please clarify this message of the Empress and the Six of um, the Six of Swords. What do you want us to know about knowing that we can earn the money doing what we love? What do you want us to know about creating solid foundations in our life and setting our own standards for financial well-being? Uh, make it as plain as possible. As possible, what are you trying to get us to know? God, any doubt or confusion, please clarify on this next turn. Okay, never seen that happen before. The mother soul, angel number 1233, is what came out. Oh, sorry, y'all. Oh, my nose just got like <laughs> angel number 1240. I just got like all these like itches out of nowhere. That was weird. Never had that before. So let's see, what does the mother's soul mean? Okay, so if you selected the mother's soul, you are far too absorbed in what you do in life. You are mission driven. Your way of pushing in life drains your energy. This draining and pushing is an escape from other parts of your life. What or who are you avoiding? What are you? What are your true intentions of your missions? Are you being realistic about your capabilities? Something for you to think about. You restore the soul. Mother soul holds the shrine on which we place our sadness and happy. Excuse me. <laughs> Mother soul holds the shrine on which we place our sadness and joy. When tears fall upon your cheek, they may not belong to you. When you laugh without knowing the reason, you may be in the energy of Mother Soul. As Mother Soul, <clears throat> sorry guys. When you laugh without knowing the reason, you may be in the energy of Mother Soul. As Mother Soul, you hold the feelings and emotions of self and others. You have the capability, you have the capacity to embrace the deepest experiences. I'm going to start all over. Angel number 1409. Definitely the last one. <laughs> Mother soul holds the shrine on which we place our sadness and joy. When tears fall upon your cheeks, they may not belong to you. When you laugh without knowing the reason, you may be in the energy of mother soul. 
As mother soul, you hold the feelings and emotions of self and others. You have the capacity to embrace the deepest experiences. You are so sensitive, you may have to protect yourself from people who are constantly in their emotions. People come to you when they are experiencing major turning points in their lives. And you comfort, you kiss, you smile, and you give love with no expectations. On the waking path, you restore and rejuvenate. You find energetic, you feel energetic and find your life full and satisfying. You are able to, you are able to access the spring of wellness. With this capacity, you help others awaken to the ways in which they suffer. Wellness is imprinted on your bones. Others come to you because of your loving, warm attention you give. As a consequence, your energy is often misinterpreted and you can fall into the world of wet nurse or one who shares with everyone something as dear to you as breast milk. As a mother with a child, as mother soul, attending to folks as your children, you are often abused or drained empty of your life force. This draining or abuse can be the beginning of being on the sleeping path. If all of your energy is spent feeding others, nursing everyone's wounds but your own, you are giving without concern for your own needs. You may, you may even encounter anger as others want you to continue your giving. You may grow numb and weary of holding all of these feelings and emotions. You become empty. When you experience this emptiness, you hide because your work was in the feeding. You are most likely fearful of not being able to handle all of your own pain and loss. See if your efforts to nurture everyone might come from the past wounding in your personal life and in your ancestral lineage. See if there is a memory in your bones of the inability to save someone or something you lost long ago. Unconsciously, we are still trying to save all of who and what we've lost on life's journey. Your own soul retrieval is at stake each time you unconsciously take on another. Remember yourself in this love and in, this love and comfort work as a respect for your gift. As a matter of fact, your gifts cannot be shared without your body and soul. Mother soul must find other mother souls to rejuvenate them. If you are constantly tired, then you have too many people around you who are not feeding you. Explore the reason you allow yourself to be drained. You may need to find ways other than fatigue or illness to signal to yourself to take a break from taking care of others. Do you feel more worthy in your depleted state? Is there something someone can do for you? In the end, it may not be necessary that you take on being a mother soul. This role is not for those who do it because it is expected of them. It is for those who recognize the sacred power of soul revival as a spiritual path that is reciprocal between themselves and others. Angel number 1721. And so I ask you right now, the thing that I will lead you with is what roles are you taking on in your life? Are you allowing yourself to be nurtured? Are you birthing your own dreams and your own visions in your life? Or are you allowing others? <laughs> are, you, are you helping others birth their dream and their vision into your life? If you are doing the opposite and you want to be able to create a life for you or go down the path of doing something that you truly love, God is saying that it is totally in your power. You are completely capable of setting your own financial standards of well-being. All you need to do is know that it is not your role to make others happy, to step into your purpose, to turn away from anything that is no longer serving to you and connect to the blue flame that was in, that is within you because Mother Soul wants you to, to bring it on earth. All right, y'all. That is all the messages I have for you. I truly hope that it was beneficial for you. If you made it to the end of this video, please give me your key takeaway. If not, give me at least give me a thumbs up. Until we meet again, dream those dreams. Never let the internet rest you and never, ever let someone tell you what you cannot do. Agent number 1820. Mm, namaste. Y'all, yeah, I'm going to bed. <laughs>